Well, there certainly wasn't the luxury of time, but there were several factors that all came together nicely to streamline the process of getting the vaccine out. The first was that across the globe, there was an immense amount of collaboration among scientists to break down the scientific code of the coronavirus, and that allowed them to be able to figure out the virus to create the foundation work of making the vaccine. Aside from that collaboration, there was an immense amount of funding for this vaccine. This was the most financially funded vaccine in history. I couldn't even find a number online to be able to tell you how much money was pooled into this vaccine. Uh, otherwise, a lot of red tape was cut for this vaccine, and everybody knows red tape doesn't really serve much purpose, right? The important thing, safety measures were all met. Uh, the most important thing would be looking for things like adverse effects from the vaccine. From other vaccine trials, we know that the majority of adverse effects are going to show up in the first two months after you give a vaccine. So both Pfizer and Moderna trials were two months long to be able to find those things. That doesn't mean that something couldn't happen after two months. It's just going to be a much rarer phenomenon. So all of the safety measures were met. The other important thing, or rather the other big holdup in vaccine trials is getting enough volunteers to participate. With this, there were plenty of people who were eager to help, so that helped to speed it along too. The last thing that really helped to speed along the process was that there were enough events for the trial, meaning if you're trying to study the efficacy of a vaccine, you have to look at two arms. You have to look at the people that you give the vaccine and you want those people not to get sick. You want to prove that your vaccine worked. And then you have to look at the people that you didn't give the vaccine to. You don't want them to get sick, but you have to show that they still did get sick because you didn't give them your vaccine. And if the disease that you're studying happens a lot, like COVID, you should meet your numbers quickly. There's going to be a lot of COVID happening. People are going to get sick. If you're doing this study in Houston, in 2020 and you're looking at bubonic plague, you're not gonna be able to find 100 cases of bubonic plague, right? So with a lot of COVID, they were able to hit those numbers quickly. So with all these things, the trials just moved along at a nice pace and we were able to move along. So thankfully we were able to just streamline the process and get the shots out and now it's just moving it further and further and, and we're getting there. As the vaccines start rolling out to the public, there's no end in sight to these questions. Visit firstprimarycare.com to find a doctor you can easily connect with via text, phone, or in person.